bitch. This one's gonna be oh, let's test the Miata space. Hey, hey. Oh, I just don't have a light. Oh, shit. Are you recording? I have No, don't fly your fucking car. Don't worry about it. Close it. How do you put down the window? You it's, can't, it's, it's not, not on. on. Oh shit. Lord. Hey. No, but close it, close it. Oh, I'm closing for you. No, 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 no. Ass. Not red. I'll, 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 I'll open it. I'll open it real quick. Oh, I'll open it. Oh, I'm going to I'm dead ass. I'm not going to close it. Okay, okay. No more stretch. Dick and tires. Dick and tires. Look at that. What about like the. You're going to crease your shoes, Phil. I'll roll the face. So, we're back. I'm finally back. It's been some time. Um today's video we started off we're gonna start off with brian's miata we actually picked this up it's been like a month or so i just haven't been able to blog he does have a mb1 uh we've been having a little bit of trouble with california issues with the smog but we finally took care of it and we're gonna get to it real quick actually we're gonna go to the paint store and get some paint for my miata so for the most part we'll come back and get to it on this one and let's get this day going Hop in the, in the granny mobile <sighs> The economy mobile <sighs> Black color lotions on the hood Oh shit <laughs> <laughs> You have safety locks on this? Nah it's broken? No, nah, you just you didn't even lock it. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> Alright, so we're back. Uh, we had to go to the paint store because my Miata is going to be getting some new paint. Uh, I know my last video, I think it was either on the drift truck or the, the last one was Miata is getting a new paint job. Either or. But... We are getting a new paint job on the Miata. Actually, got a big old good deal on it. We're gonna be slapping some solid color on it. I'm just telling you guys this now. It is not green. It's nowhere near green. I'm tired of the green. Just we're gonna get something a lot better this time. Not better, but I been wanting this color. Just was hesitant about it. But all right. So now you guys will find out the color later. Let's uh, talk about Brian's Miata. So we are gonna change the color. We, I mean, it's a. We do like the Miata green. It's like the avocado green. I believe mine was this. No, no, mine was an M edition green. So we picked this up, kind of for a steal, or actually for a good steal. And um, it's technically, well, not even technically. It's all OEM. Everything is OEM on it. OEM wheels. OEM everything nothing has really like interior is all there everything is there came with a little you know Doritos no what is that Funyuns hot Funyuns bag um, let's see let's see the inside we were trying to figure some stuff out with the check engine light that came on but we just figured out it's just the check engine light that is providing the code P0420 now P0420 has to deal with the catalytic converters which is okay uh, we're probably gonna get rid of those anyway get a nice exhaust on it um, uh, With headers, you know get that all out the way later, but this Miata Which I wish when I started my channel. I I, I Wish I had my bone stock Miata so I could have showed you guys, you know from the start of how I did mine but it, my Miata has been through a big process and so has So is this one going to be as well? So this one it's gonna go there's gonna be a lot done to it anybody want this steering wheel give me a price it's out we're, we're not we can't keep this one it's too big we need a smaller steering wheel not due to the miata but due to me or brian you know we're like almost six feet tall or maybe six feet tall 512 as you would say we need a different steering wheel so the clearance between our legs and when we're jumping in and out so for sure we're getting a detach um for sure we're getting a radio because this is the oem radio this is all stock stock seats as you guys can see back here we were working on it we have all the panels right there 
we were trying to figure something out. Uh, the gas tank was dirty, or it still kind of is a little bit. No rust, thankfully. So we're gonna get this Miata nice and cleaned up from the tank, the interior. We're gonna definitely delete these door panels. These are NB1 door panels, but we're gonna get rid of these. We're not gonna put NB2s. We're gonna put the sheet metal ones, the, some custom ones. We've seen some online. Um, reason why is we need more clearance from the from our shoulder. Especially when you run bucket seats, um, not all bucket seats clear right here. Um, on mine, they don't clear, but it's okay. I might end up getting some as well. But for sure, he's getting some. That's going to reduce like about three inches, the max, two and a half from right here. So definitely going to get rid of those. Um, carpet, I believe, is going out. Or mats are going out. I believe maybe carpet carpet might be going out but for the interior i mean it's pretty mint only like this little crack that's not even a crack it looks like there was a little slice you can see it started from down here and went up here so that's not even really a crack that's just like something sliced it but that's fine you know pretty mint like i said stock exhaust stock everything so the best part about this the best part of having a build is buying a bone stock car and building it the way up instead of buying somebody else's build so now that we have this i mean i like i like the nbs i like all of them i i think the only miatos i don't like is the ncs they look kind of funny you know but some people make them look great there's some badass ones actually you know nds look badass but ncs they, i don't know they look too happy but anyway, uh, let's cut the story short. Let's go ahead and check out the, what's under the hood. Nothing crazy, I'll tell you that much. Um, let's see. Oh, definitely rust free. Uh, all right. Like I said, bone stock Miata. Everything is stock. Everything. Nothing is, you know, nothing's missing. Everything is here. Everything is stock. Man, we got room to turbo this. We got room to everything. Everything is stock. We got extra math sensors, which is good. He's, uh, well, I don't know if he's going to, you know, switch switch it up and get a uh, turbo or supercharged. So you're going to have to get rid of the math sensor anyway if he does that. So, like I said, there's a lot coming to it. A lot. Let me make sure I close it because he's got to go home today. I don't want that flying up. Uh, new body kit, definitely. Uh, I think the body kit he's going to get is going to be pretty sick. He's more of an aerodynamic type of person instead of me, where I have the drift style type of Miata. Let's see. Now, the truck, I really can't show you guys what's in there due to the fact that it's kind of packed in there. Alright. Well, as you guys could see, well, oh shit. As you guys can see, it had the old the old, fuel pump has been replaced. This was the old one. You can see it's all messed up. The filter on it was kind of jacked up. We have let's see all the carpets, all the little panels. I think it might even have the the spare and the jack is there. That's amazing. What is this? Oh, that's the that's the cover for the back where the fuel tank set. Um, I don't even know what this was. Maybe for the horn. Uh, you know, you got the little Daryl ass battery, the little baby Miata batteries. Actually, that's a lot bigger. No, I think that's the OEM one. But like that right there is pretty good. That's solid. One thing uh, about Brian is that his Del Sol, the white Del Sol I usually post on my channel, it broke down. Not even broke down. It wasn't an accident, small accident. But nothing really big to worry about because we are not letting it go. That one was actually handed down to me. And we're going to be working on that one. Um, big plans for that one too. Big plans for this Miata. A lot of more content coming in. I know I've been lagging it this past couple you know, months. But I've had uh, big uh, responsibilities come in. So you know, I'm trying to hop back on it. And I promised myself that I would hop back on it before I would go back to work. So now that we are capable of actually hopping back on in front of the camera, you know, if you guys miss me or not, 
we are here and we're here to get this thing ready um for as for my miata we're gonna be painting it oh man it's gonna be so sick um i'm gonna try to paint it all at once but i'm gonna try to take my time on it i'm not trying to force it to where i do everything in a rush and then you know get up get end up having orange peel and all that but we're gonna try our best to get that done so once that's out the way that should be coming up soon that should be one of the next coming up videos probably won't be my next it might be my next just depends how much i rush it um but yeah that's gonna be coming up but as in for this Miata, I'm happy for Brian picking up this Miata. It's it's a steal. I know it's not the prettiest. I know it's, you know, but like I said, it's bone stock. We're not here to keep it the same color. It's definitely going to change color. Uh, he's going to change the color. I'm not. Um, well, I'll probably help him paint it. We'll probably end up doing it here. Mm, let's see what is the downsides to this Miata. The downsides, we do have a little bit of an exhaust kind of rattle going on one dent here a little one here but that's probably the biggest one the next one's up in the front left fender there's nothing to worry about you can just pick up any new fender anytime but you know when you come to quarter panels you can't just pick up a rear quarter panel unless it's an aftermarket one that has to be bolted over but this is just a, these are like small dings and dents that we could just push out and then pick up some bondo and use a slightly small amount of bondo these rims they're definitely coming off he doesn't like these rims of course i wouldn't either um i'm probably gonna keep those for drift spares or see what i'm gonna do with those because those are gonna end up coming with me and the enkis on his uh del sol should be coming on here after he gets suspension so suspension is first on this one before we could even focus on the top uh, we got big plans for the top we might just do a soft top for the meantime while we order a fastback i believe or a hard top whichever route he wants to go with for the most part everything's coming out good um we took one big step today on trying to get a street legal you guys do know we stay in california so in california it's not that easy having a uh regular car even with stock emissions california is really have a foot up your butt when you're trying to pass through your smogs you know like it's not like texas or arizona where it's so easy to just to pass the smog here they take it so far up the butt but anyway for the most part we're gonna get a lot done to this it's gonna be a big transformation i know it's not like any other youtube channel where they'd be like oh we just got a miata today huge transformation in the next 10 hours trying to provide some good content where we could show you guys not every one of us that has a pretty good looking car you know just bought the things because we have money sitting around it's not like that you know majority of the time we work for our stuff so it takes time like my miata um, if you guys would have seen the process from when I started it, it would have been badass. You guys would have, I mean, you guys would have seen it from start to finish. When I bought my Miata, it was like this. Uh, I did have some wheels, but for the most part, it did not look how it looks now. Oh, well, now it even looks worse because I have it sanded down. But for the most part, we're going to get that done. We're going to get the Miatas out the way. And we're going to be getting some content with uh, the Del Sol too. Uh, the Del Sol is actually not bad. Hopefully, I could post some pictures right here. And you guys will see. I'll post it at the end of the video. And there's going to be a front end conversion on that. I'm not really a Honda guy. I'm not. Um, I've never really been a Honda guy as you would say. I never. I wanted to be in the Honda gang. I always liked the Honda EGs. The EKs. Even though Brian hates the EKs. But I like the Hondas. Those are coming in. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to let you guys know. That's going to be it for today's video. I'm just catching up with you guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next one and have a good one. Peace out.